Hello and welcome. Today I'm making a video in which I will explain how to actually make this previous video I did. Uh, you can check it up right there. And once you did, you will be able to understand what am I talking about. So this tutorial will be split into two parts. The first one will explain how to record your clips in the game Gary's mod. And the second uh, will explain you how to edit these clips into like a, uh, well, complete movie, complete video. Um, yeah, so this is obviously part one. And today I'm going to be talking about how to actually record these clips. So two mods, you will need two mods. First one uh, is wire mod and the wire mod allows us to pawn these text boxes right there and right there. If you leave it uh, empty, it, you know, well, it is empty then. If you write some text here, you will get some text there. So you can also change the letter size, the alignment of your text, uh, the font of the text as well. So yeah, if you need that, it's there. And this is actually the camera mod. It's called Catmull ROM Cinematic Cameras. Uh, both of the mods will be in the description down below, as well as the video I just asked you to watch. Um, and yeah, this camera mod allows you to make some smooth, you know, camera movements in the game. Um, and yeah, it's actually a great mod. So now there are some, you know, um, cons and pros in this mod. So first of all, I don't really understand why do you need two cameras at the start and two cameras at the end. I mean, I don't get it, but you, you know, you can can get used to that. The second pro and at the same time con, con uh, would be that where do you, I mean, well, in points where you don't have um, like these notes, because this camera, this camera, this camera, well, I mean, those two cameras represent notes. So where you don't have notes, there is this string and it actually is uh, auto generated. So you can't really alter that. And it basically ensures that this camera, you know, is making these smooth motions. It's not, you know, jaggering up or down, and it's not, you know, traveling. Um, it makes an arc, basically. So it doesn't look like this, 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 you know, sort of an arc movement. So how can you use this mod to make a clip that I made? Well, basically 25 clips. Um, you basically go to the mod, there's a menu called camera layout, and there you see multiple options. So first of all, of course, trigger key. Well, I mean, that's obvious. Um, there's an option to zoom. As you can see, it automatically applies it to my view because uh, you sort of lay down the shots by, you know, by, by, by your own view. Um, you can roll the camera as well, though I haven't used it in that video. Um, and yeah, these are the basic functions you can do. You can change the duration between nodes. So default is two seconds between this, let's say this node and this node. But I increased it to 10 seconds because I, I needed, you know, to make this slow, slow, slow movement here. Um, but yeah, that's what you do to increase the, the node speed. Uh, what else do you need? Actually, there's not... not that much else that I used so you know this will be like a noobs guide you know to making videos with this mod if you want a more detailed information you can get to the mods website well not website steam site um, and you know just find the information there but yeah let's begin with the layout of the cameras so basically as I said you need additional cameras at the start and at the end so we'll have one here and let's start from here. So basically what you want to do is that you want to first of all have the zoom on 110 and 
have the have this board you know as as much of the board as possible in the shot but don't let you know uh, the corners of the shot leak light from like around so make it basically you know just look at the text and then second shot will be uh, a bit you know back top sort of here right yeah um, so basically actually maybe a bit further away uh, basically this will back off the camera like so uh, third shot we will want to do is you know, just back off quite a bit uh, let's zoom in on the target like so let's get the shot here now let's circle the target and place multiple nodes around the target I reckon about eight camera nodes should be you know plenty so sort of uh, every 45 degrees place a camera and afterwards you would ideally want to you know check your camera angles uh, check the camera movement and do some you know modifications to the camera layout you can basically do that with your um, side gun um, so yeah it's it's not a perfect circle I mean I believe you can really do better than that just you know place the cameras as you want and we sort of uh, ended the circle I mean it's not perfect but but it'll do so then what you want to do is at the last shot right here um, you want to sort of pitch the camera upwards wait let's put the screen somewhere here you have to point the camera at the screen above right I placed three cameras so that you know it would point upwards and stay there for a bit because once it ends its path it will come back to your view to your player view so let's check what we have now wrong camera Okay, so it's it's quite decent. I mean, in the video it was sort of a bit more, you know, above the character, but this actually is not bad. And you, of course, you would cut, you know, once the screen um, has filled all the, like the screen space. Um, right. So what can we actually fix here well I would like this to point more upwards uh, I would like also for this last camera to a bit you know also point upwards wrong camera again so yeah you just play around with them I mean play around until the shot is you know how you want it to look and you know once you're done you can actually remove the NPC here put yourself in or like a prop on here you can change the character models and you know just do what I did see it's me yay yay way yay so that is it for this tutorial and in the part two we'll be making these clips into one big huge video yay as always, thank you for watching the video and I will see you next time. Bye!